Well, we're back for another BTS session behind the stems. And today we're taking a look at the song No Failure, which is from Melvin Crispo's latest album, which is entitled No Failure. Can I tell you that when Melvin presented this song to me, I absolutely fell in love with it. The message was a reminder of God's love and his faithfulness towards us. And I remember as I listened to it, it took me back to my childhood where I was first introduced to Richard Smallwood. Now, if you know him, you know he had a way of arranging his background vocals in a way where the harmonies weren't your typical harmonies. And I loved being challenged by that. This song took me back to that place. And as I listened to the song, I thought about the approach. I thought about opera. I thought about symphonies. I thought about violins and how they sway back and forth between certain notes and pitches. And uh, <laughs> even in some instances, how they use vibrato and legato in the instrumentation. I absolutely loved this song and I still love it. But I'm just saying while I was listening, I was just like, wow, I could imagine so many uh, ways to approach this song. So I'm excited to share it with you. Let's get into hook number one. So hook number one, straightforward approach. Um, nothing too difficult with the harmonies. Of course, I'm always conscious of where I'm going to place vibrato, if it's going to be fast, if it's going to be slow, if it's going to be legato, where we're just moving back and forth between certain pitches without vibrato. This is what we came up with for the first hook. There is no failure what you stole. So you have that legato, right, which is primary. You can hear fast vibrato on the end of some of the words, but primarily we're using legato. Those notes are sustained and flowing between one another. Let's listen again. There is no failure what you start. So let's do this. Let's look at the alto and tenor and hear what they're doing. There is no failure what you started. All right. And when we add soprano back into that, this is what we came up with. There is no failure what you started. Here's another part of the song that I really enjoyed. As we go throughout this song, you hear us go to a section that talks about his performance. You will perform hallelujah. Now, I like for my approach to be exciting, to keep the listener engaged. Now you can sing this line, you will perform hallelujah, right? But that's boring. Who wants boring? But when you sing it like, you will perform, hallelujah. I'm intentional about the delivery. I'm intentional about certain emphasis on certain words. I'm intentional about that vibrato. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. Placement is so key. You will perform, hallelujah. So let's listen to it. You will perform, hallelujah. Let's listen to it one more time. You will perform, hallelujah. Now, if you notice, perform is the word that carried the fast uh, vibrato and hallelujah. The luya carried the fast vibrato, everything else um, was legato and I did that on purpose. Notice how we darkened up on the luya, right? To give it some type of character. You will perform hallelujah. All right, so let's get into the second hook. 
We sung this before, but we want to change it up a bit. Y'all know me. I don't like to repeat myself too much. It gets boring. So what we did was switch up the melody to give it some character. In the first hook, um, the tenor did one thing. Second time around or towards the end of the song, I changed it up. Let's listen to what we did here. There is no We're going to pause that right there. In the first hook, the tenor said, There is no failure what you started. In this hook, the tenor said, There is no failure what you started. Right? And then, we believe. Let's listen to it. There is no failure what you started, we believe. Let's listen to the full line. There is no failure what you I love that part, absolutely love it. We reached the end of the song, and as we are there, we've taken the listener on a journey, we've reached the climax. It's time to bring the song down, but just because we're bringing it down does not mean we diminish the impact. I don't wanna diminish the impact. So as I sit there and thought about what to do, I said, we're gonna keep the harmonies, we're gonna keep the movement, and we're gonna bring all of it together to end on one note. And this is what happened. I know you will complete. Again. I know you will complete. Beautiful, right? Let's uh, highlight some of those notes here. Let's see what we came up with. Here we go. I know you will come. Right? Let's add another one in. I know you will come, please. Let's do it again. I know you will complete. I know you will complete. And I know you will complete. Beautiful, beautiful song. I really hope you've enjoyed listening to this entire album again i fell in love with this song still love it make sure that you guys go and check out the entire album no failure by melvin chris Bell. 